Ladies and gentlemen, stick around. We've got Ideas by Elliot. Hey, folks, you're listening to Ideas by Elliot. And we're here with Ideas by Elliot. Podcast, podcast, (laughs) podcast. Ideas by Elliot Podcast, brought to you by Release Wire, Trisha Nell Law, Yike Salon, and Camera Corner Studios, with your host, the amazing creator of the true internet, Elliot Christensen. This is his chance to take a break, talk in depth with the most interesting people he knows. There are no rules, there's no censor, there are no do-overs. It's raw, unscripted, and never edited. This is special episode number six, Mufasa and Son. Elliot is here with Don and Sean Nelson, as well as the best grass and plant actor in Green Bay, Max Christensen. We're here for the Mufasa and Son special episode. I have Mufasa and Son, but first I have Don Nelson, popular (laughs) fanatic of the podcast. He is going to introduce the other people that are here and what's going on. We've got Max Christensen here. I'm a zebra. <laughs> You're a zebra? Doesn't make much sense to call it Mufasa and Son because I'm guessing that Mufasa's son is most likely at home right now. Who's Mufasa? I want to know about Mufasa. I am Mufasa. Or does he have a real name that we can go with? I do have a real name. What's your real name? Sean Nelson. Okay. I asked you guys to bring some questions to go through. So who wants to start? I have questions. All right, so I guess my my first discussion question was, what made you want to be in the musical? To that's to Mufasa. Yeah. Okay. And myself. What? So, what made you want to be in the musical? Well, I've kind of been inclined towards music my entire life, with my dad being a bass player, and eventually picking that up. I've been a huge fan of singing, but not usually in front of people which is why I didn't do it last year for sixth grade when I had the chance. And I kind of built up that confidence recently, so. Yeah, so I guess my answer is sort of similar to that. I come from a very musical family. My brother, Kyle, is, he is like, plays like 10 instruments. I used to play piano, violin, now I'm in choir. Last year at the end of at the end of the year, my violin teacher, when I told him that I was gonna be in choir next year, he recommended that I be in a musical because, you know, that it takes a lot of different things like dancing and singing and, you know, all that sort right. of stuff. So Max or Zebra? Yeah, I'm a zebra. Okay. And I'm grass. And, and you're grass. And a wildebeest. And a wildebeest. Stuff. Okay. Yeah. So you're multifunctional. And then Sean is Mufasa. Yeah. I haven't seen this Lion King thing in like a decade, maybe more. So refresh my memory. Who's Mufasa? Uh, Mufasa is Simba's dad, who is the main character. Okay. So you're like, you. so you're up for like best supporting actor. Yes. <laughs> in a, that works. In a drama. You, are you going to be in the Oscars? I hope. Okay. Well, that's cool. That's yeah, cool. so I guess that's why I thought this would be cool because, you know, I'm sort of more of a side character and he's sort of basically one of the main characters. Like, he's the main character's dad. The... So you get it from both perspectives. Okay. So what what is, what is this, what we're talking about? So there's this, there's a Lion King musical... Yeah, at Lombardi Middle School. And I guess this is sort of a promo for it because it... But it's coming up soon. Yeah, it's coming up very soon. The first one is Wednesday, which if you're here, this, recording this this probably tomorrow. So we're recording this on February 8th. Yeah. The soonest I'm going to have it out is tonight, which is February 8th. And the first that your first showing is on Wednesday the 10th. Yeah, so what you're going to want to do is, if you live in the Green Bay area, I'd say you probably want to get your tickets, right? Because it's a pretty good experience. You might want to see it. You should get tickets when? Like, tonight or tomorrow night. Not tonight. You can't tonight. tonight. But tomorrow night. You have to get them at the school, right? Yeah. 
you have to basically tomorrow or I think I don't know I think that tomorrow night's the last you can get them I which think. so what do you guys, how do you guys feel about that making it's, making all of your fans have to go to Lombardi twice they have to go there to get these tickets and then they have to go back to go see you guys so what, I don't know. For most of the my overreacting? fans, it's Am I overreacting? Perfect. I'm sorry. Is that a first world problem? Um, no, it's a slippery road <laughs> and dangerous hazard problem. Mom and dad had to drive across town to go get their tickets today. Did they go get them? Apparently they did. Oh. Well, good well, for them. Well, that's a good sign because that means that they're still... <laughs> they could have... Still- Gotten in an accident. How would you feel about that? But they didn't, so they are very skilled behind the wheel. So you're so you're defending the status quo. Yes. I think that's what he's doing. That's because he does he's he's a star. Yeah. And he's, stars like the status and he's, quo. And he's part of and he's part <laughs> Generally. of so you're part of the problem. <laughs> oh thanks. <laughs> okay, next I question. That's what I was doing. There's a, a showing on Wednesday, February 10th. There's one on Friday. The 12th, and then there's another one on Saturday, Saturday. the 13th. Yeah. Okay. So we covered when And I'm not quite sure about times. I will have the link to the website, the Lombardi website that has that information on it. I'll put that in the notes. Okay. Yeah. And if you see her, maybe think Ms. Knespel, but I, I, I don't know. Some of you might not know who that is. So she's in charge? There are a lot of you. Yeah, Ms. Knespel is the choir teacher for Lombardi, and she's pretty awesome. She's my favorite teacher. Okay. Any other thanks you want to put out there right away? Yeah. So is there like Um, is there like a crew that has to do stuff? Oh, absolutely. There's a fairly large crew. There's the stage crew and there's the tech crew. Which so is, are mean, you thinking them or you just acknowledging that they exist? Okay. I'm thinking. And kind of both. Do you have anybody? Um, You got you got anybody? I'll give a shout out to Austin, who plays yes, Simba, Simba, my son, in the okay. musical. But no, there's multiple people who I'd personally like to thank. Obviously, the stage and tech crew. And there's two Reese's. One that's a zebra, what? like me. There's two Reese's? Yeah, <laughs> two Reese's. <laughs> like, like in a Reese's package? <laughs> Um, and what, so, let me guess one is chocolate and one is peanut butter <laughs> close oh boy. one is a zebra and grass and wildebeest and stuff with me and the other is Pumbaa Pumbaa Reese's sister Taya is Timon and I so these are your peeps yeah, too right these are my peeps okay um and then so if somebody Two doesn't, if somebody well, doesn't know, if somebody doesn't know Sean, they don't know Max. Although I think everybody knows you guys. If they don't know Taya, they don't know the Reese's twins. The Reese's um, twins. Why would they want to go see this? So give me a thirty second pitch. Why would somebody want to come and see this musical? It's pretty action packed, and it's usually something you haven't seen before. Instead of the classic music, the classic like normal Lion King. It's more based on the Broadway African show. So yeah. they're like completely redesigned costumes and backgrounds. So it's okay. definitely but it's the same yeah. music. He looks nothing yes. like in the movie. There he are, looks okay. nothing like in the movie. Okay. There are some added songs, but yeah, it mainly stays towards the same songs. You're nodding if you've seen it? Or are you just saying because no. based on. No, well, so I haven't I'm, seen I'm it familiar yet. with the Broadway. Oh, I'm not. Edition. And okay. uh, yeah. also saw the it's face oh. makeup because oh, okay. especially I haven't if, seen anything. I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be maybe horrified. I have no idea. Because I mean, possibly. So that's why I'm asking. Like, give me your sales pitch because I I don't have a ticket yet. I'm un, I'm in the undecided camp. I mean, you could buy one to make me feel better. And w- so so how much are tickets? They're six dollars for bucks, adults. Right? Yep. Okay. And two yeah. for students. So, and where does the money go? Uh, buy pizza it for you? goes. It goes towards the music department, and it kind of keeps going. But like, and me, pizza. Me, but music is free. The pizza actually also goes. But the equipment it. is not. What equipment? Uh, we buy microphones with it. We buy new instruments. Okay. Well, I am well aware microphones are very expensive. <laughs> They're small ones. I, I heard but... last time on the when I was here last time. Yeah. You were talking about needing a better mic. You had like the music microphone. Yeah, and that worked okay. That was fine, but I like this that this has this has four settings on it. 
It's very exciting. <laughs> it has knobs and dials and mute buttons. It's very cool. Okay, next. What's your What's your next question? So I ask questions about how much it costs. It's six bucks for adults, two bucks for kids. It's on Wednesday. It's on Friday. It's on Saturday. Sean said that people should go because it's like the Broadway musical, and it'll make them happy if people go. I guess my sales pitch is: if you don't live in the Green Bay area, probably don't come because just it's going to be a long drive for this. But go. um, yeah, just send the six dollars to Lombardi Middle School. If you have seen the Broadway version of this and you liked it, you're basically going to be seeing a younger version of that with a little less content. But more action and more comedy. But more action and it's going towards a good cause, which is education, even if that doesn't... So I should spend my my six bucks. I need to go to this. Just because of education. Because education. Because education. I know a lot of people, such as you, who would probably spend six bucks without the musical being there. Just like, just to, just for education, because you love education. I Um, I love education. I, but, I love people know, being educated. It, it helps that you get <laughs> to see a show. It helps that you get to see a pretty awesome show. I think Max is going to be my new spokesperson work. because I would say, I hate stupid people. And he would translate that into, you're pro education. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what that means. That'd be great. <laughs> I hate stupid people. Okay. He's already a politician. You need education. He's ten years old and he's already he's already a politician. Yeah. I'm he gonna be yeah. president. He didn't even call me out on that. He's gonna be twelve no, not, yeah. next week. He didn't even call me out on that. He's gonna be a politician. He's used to me like, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm ten. <laughs> That's right, I'm ten. <laughs> okay, what's your next question? What's your next question? Yeah, what's the um punch? <laughs> the um punch? <laughs> yeah. It's an inside joke. I guess. From I guess so blues. too. Or are we Do wrapping you have it up? Another question? Oh, yeah. I'll take it from my I'll story. Your, your questions out. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good. How about uh, preparation? How long have you guys been practicing? How long has this whole process taken? Um, since about November, I think. Well, it started December? It started in late December. And yeah. it's been creeping its way along until now. And that's yeah. rehearsals almost every day for the most part. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. At least these so past So that's like. Weeks. Like 70 weeks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe totally. 72 weeks. Yeah. So that's worth six It was bucks. a lot. I and mean, sometimes it was on math. Saturdays even. So re- so you guys started in December and it's February. Yep. Yeah. So, so two months. That's not 72 weeks, but. It's a lot. <laughs> that's like 72 days of practice. practice. And you practice eight, nine, ten hours a day? Hour and forty five, <laughs> yeah. but it it rounds up to about two hours from putting stuff on and taking stuff off. Okay. So. Yeah, and depending on what day it is, because tomorrow, tomorrow it's going till six thirty, but it's also gonna be picture day tomorrow, mm. so it's not all of that's gonna be spent practicing. So know? do you think that the practice paid off? Definitely. Oh, absolutely. Okay. absolutely. All right. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we actually kind of hit on that one. Sorry. The next question that she had was uh, about how, how you guys think it'll go over. You guys have been doing this for a few weeks now. You guys are oh, in the final phase. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's... we're advertising to the world. <laughs> well, this is going on the global I think internet. it'll go great. It's kind of a fluke thing. It's different from performing in front of the five people who watch us every day yeah. to... Yeah. An entire overcrowded auditorium. So, but they're just gonna, they're not gonna complain and critique you though. So, I, 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 that makes yeah. it think it might be easier. Hope. How long does this last? Is it like an hour? Two an hours? hour and a half, about? It's an hour, plus hour and intermission, half, yeah. or not plus intermission, including intermission. I an think. hour and a half, including intermission. Is that accurate? I think so. so. Okay. People ask me, I'm like, I have no idea. The information is not on that. Oh, I'm sure. But it will be. I'm sure. No, I don't think it will be. I don't. Nobody said no. anything. I'm sure Ms. Knespel will be listening to this pretty soon. Okay. So, well, the, sure the, then is she going to go back in time and allow us to edit? Yeah. <laughs> she, she's going to use the TARDIS. Well, if she has time control capabilities, there are a number of things that I need to take up with her. 
Yes. <laughs> she, has a ma- she has a magic flute. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she can go back in yeah. time and <laughs> make you learn how to play the flute. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was it. So, next question. Uh, problems. Problems faced. Any any issues that came along and how did you resolve them, Max? Ooh, good question. I guess that's actually a really good hard question. How about the problem of you weren't sure that you even wanted to be in it, so you missed some practices. Yeah, it's kind of a problem. So I was you can't have zebras miss a practice. You can't have zebras. Because my gosh, practice. they'll forget oh how God. to be zebras. They'll forget how to be zebras. <laughs> I can't believe this. Wow. I don't know. So you missed a couple practices, you got right back on track, and now you're part of the wild oil machine. Mm-hmm. Okay. What challenges did you have? It was somewhat motivation in the beginning because I didn't actually look at anything that we were doing until like the fourth day of practice. And on the fourth day of practice, I was told that I had a solo. So that was pretty nerve wracking. So I was singing an octave lower than I usually did. And it sounded terrible. So I thought it would be terrible. But like he was talking about, Miss K kind of just pushed us to go above our limits. And I think it sounds good now. When you first started, you were a little afraid because it's unknown and you were a little less rehearsed and you, you improved over time. Yeah. And yeah. now that we start mashing all the music and scenes together, it's really coming together. Sounds good. I think that's typical of anybody, but you put in 72 weeks worth of work now. 72 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> With all that effort, now you're ready to win your Oscar. I think so, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. For me, Any it's other, kind you have of another challenge? Thing. For me, it's kind of a similar thing because I guess motivation, really, but in a different way. Well, motivation, I think, is really hard for everybody in anything, especially when you start out. Like, if you learn to play guitar or bass, and if I started, it would be horrible, so I would be like, well, this is too hard. For me, it was just like, what the crap is the animal ensemble? And then I found out that's, like, five different characters. So then I was like, okay. You were blank stare. So basically, (laughs) yeah, blank stare, because basically that means, and what I found out that means is that... You do all the work, but get mm, basically none of the credit. I'm not going to say none, but, you know, you obviously get a lot have any less other than someone. Uh, what's next? Is there another musical on the horizon, or is there... Well, there's a musical every year, but she doesn't Just usually announce year. it. Yeah, she doesn't okay. usually announce it until near the end of the year, so we wouldn't know what that'd be until later on. Have you done any with Evergreen? Max was in Okay, on. that's what I found out is that apparently Luke, you know, Scar, he was in the best Christmas pageant ever, okay. same as me, and yeah. at the same time. Mm-hmm. And so was one of the hyenas. Okay. And I didn't realize that because it was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. So I'm kind of surprised that that guy, that time kind of is a <laughs> long time ago, three years ago. That was pretty cool. That was my first exposure to any sort of type of play or anything. My grandma got me in it. And then I tried out for another one, which was The Lion, the Witch, and, a, and the Wardrobe, Chronicles of Narnia. They said no. Yeah, they said no. Okay. That reminds me. I'll give a shout out to Luke Pisani, who plays Scar. He's the most hilarious dude, but pulls off his yes. like really serious part in the best way. So and Scar is yeah. the bad guy, right? Yes. He might want to take it down an octave and be prepared, <laughs> though, in some of the parts because a metaphorical like, octave, an or octave. an actual octave. Actual octave. Uh, yeah, an octave. So he should be lower. Yeah, he should be oh. lower. Because he captures the character, he captures the character of Scar perfectly, and same thing with you, Miss Knespel did a great job picking the characters. Like, you're great for Mufasa, Simba, um, Austin, Simba, he's perfect as Simba. Nala, um, Aaron, is perfect for being Nala. Everyone. So she's a good director. Yeah. So excellent. Yeah. But you know, he might want to take it down an octave because 
Scar has a deep voice. Well, maybe he's trying to put his own spin on it. Artistic right, license. He's, yeah. he's like yeah. in the middle, like. He's like, got deep thoughts about yeah. it. Yeah. But yeah, he does a great job on it. Recap Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Lombardi Middle School. Where's Lombardi Middle School, by the way? It is What's a good way to say on like to South Lombardi? Point Road or something in Greenbury. Uh, okay. It's by <laughs> Hinesra Park. Um, I don't really know how to explain it because I don't really need to know where it is because oh. I just go straight until I find it and usually I take the bus. Okay. So it's first on the first day of school the far I walked home, it was not a good idea. It's on the far west side of Green Bay. Right. Near Southwest High School. Yeah. Sort of near, yeah, Southwest, near Southwest, Southwest High School. High school. <laughs> Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Lombardi Middle School. The name of the thing is the Lion King. Junior. Lion King Jr. Is it? Yeah. Is it really it, called that? It's called that because it's oh. a little bit cut down and it's. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, it's they're younger actors than portrayed in the Broadway. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so it's cut down in length too. A little bit, yes. Okay. Okay. Although Simba is a little bit old, at least young Simba is, at least in the way it looks, a little bit older than in the actual Broadway one. We covered why we yeah, think somebody should guess... go. We covered you guys worked really hard on it. You're you were you're gonna be a zebra and grass and a wildebeest. Did I get that right? And a plant. And a well, I, I thought that was grass, but another plant. <laughs> another plant. A flower. Okay. I'm very flowers. Fa- I'm fascinated Two flowers. to see all of these. Uh, and and I have to sit very, like this. Although oh, so the, you, although they can't see it because they're not this is a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so for it for, for the five people that listen like this far, Max is laying on the ground. <laughs> because I might as well be because seriously, it's like down to my knees. Okay. This shirt thing. You got any closing thoughts? Um well I know when the times are for the shows. On Wednesday it's at three thirty and on Friday it is at seven PM. On Saturday, it's at 2 p.m. They're all at Lombardi Middle School. They can get tickets at the Lombardi Middle School office. Yes. That's it. Nowhere else, right? Nope. You got any other stuff? No. I want to know if you're convinced. Convinced So you're going to get your tickets now? I'm I'm still sort of on the fence. I mean... Really? Well, I mean, (laughs) you're grass. A zebra. (laughs) And I can see Mufasa anytime I want. I'm the (laughs) zebra. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> there's only uh, three I don't know. Zebras. should I be convinced do you think it'll be good I think so I think it's going to be excellent I mean even if you're not work. yeah even if you're not from the Green Bay area you can still order I think they had DVDs for sale at one point no I am I people keep trying to get rid of me but I am <laughs> in the Green Bay area and I'm not going you can jump on the bandwagon and keep and be with everybody else trying to get rid of me <laughs> and you will fail <laughs> Try it <laughs> it's a great thing to come to, like, because it's pretty cool, and you're supporting education, people. And I'll have a link to the ticket information with the with the show. Yes. Good. Yep. Okay, we're done. I just buy it.